Hello students. Today let us discuss the topic surface texture measurement. So here we are going to learn the concept and the terminology of surface texture. So if we take a look at the topology of a surface, we can notice that there are surface irregularities which are superimposed on a widely spaced component of surface texture and it is called as the waviness. So, waviness is that surface irregularity which is superimposed component of surface texture. So, surface irregularities generally will have patterns and are oriented in a particular direction depending upon the factors that cause these irregularities. So, surface irregularities will have a pattern and they are oriented in a particular direction and they depend on the factors that cause irregularities. So some of the irregularities are shown in this figure. So if this is the lay direction, you can see there is waviness space here and the height of waviness is given. There is roughness space. So there is a valley and a peak here. This is the center line. So surface irregularities are caused because of the following factors. So what are these factors? So feed marks of the cutting tools. So when the cutting tools will cause marks on the surface, they will cause irregularities on the surface. The next point is Chatter marks on the workpiece due to vibrations caused during the manufacturing operations. So, chatter marks. Next point says this irregularities on the surface due to rupture of workpiece material during the metal cutting operation. So, during metal cutting operation, the workpiece may get ruptured and it will cause irregularities on the surface of the workpiece. The fourth cause for irregularities on the surface is surface vibrations caused by deformation of workpiece during the action of cutting forces. So, surface vibrations are caused by deformation of the workpiece under the action of cutting forces. If the cutting forces are acting on the workpiece, then there will be surface vibrations caused. The last cause for surface irregularities is so irregularities in the machine tool itself like lack of straightness of guideways. So if there are irregularities in the machine which we are using for the workpiece then it will cause irregularities even on the workpiece. So we can say that it is practically impossible to produce a component that is free from surface irregularities. So imperfections on the surface are in the form of succession of hills and valleys varying both in height and spacing. So in order to distinguish one surface from the other, we need to quantify surface roughness. So we cannot produce so for this purpose, parameters such as height and spacing of surface irregularities can be considered. So to distinguish one surface from the other, we need to quantify the surface roughness. So for this purpose, parameters like height. So in mechanical engineering application, we are primarily considered with the roughness of the surface influenced by machining process. So here. In mechanical engineering, we only consider the surface roughness influenced by the machining process.
So for example, we can take it as a surface which is machined by a single point cutting tool will have roughness that is uniformly spaced and directional. But in case of finish machining, the roughness is irregular and it is non-directional. So in general, we can say that if the hills and valleys on the surface are closely packed, the wavelength of waviness is small and the surface appears rough. So if the hills and valleys are, which are formed on the surface are closely packed, then the wavelength of the waviness is small and the surface appears rough. If hills and valleys are relatively apart, then waviness is predominant parameter of interest and is most likely caused by imperfections in the machine tool. If the hills and valleys are closely packed, then the surface is said to have a primary texture, whereas the surface with pronounced waviness are said to have a secondary texture. So this is the concept of surface texture measurement. So the next topic is the terminology of the surface texture measurement. So what is the terminology? So the first parameter which we have to study in this terminology is the roughness. So the American Society of Tool and Manufacturing Engineering defines roughness as the finer irregularities in the surface texture. So these irregularities will also include those irregularities which are resultant from a inherent action of the production process. So according to American Society of Tool and Manufacturing Engineer. It is defined as the finer irregularities in the surface texture, including those irregularities that result. So roughness is nothing but it is a spacing or roughness spacing is nothing but is the distance between successive peaks or ridges that constitute the predominant pattern of roughness. So in this roughness we have to learn about roughness spacing. So it is nothing but the distance between successive peaks and ridges that constitute so roughness height is the arithmetic average deviation expressed in the micrometers and measured perpendicularly to the central line so when we are measuring using the micrometers the roughness height is expressed in the average deviation and it is perpendicular to the central line. So from the figure we can see that this is the roughness spacing that is nothing but the distance between successive peaks and ridges that constitute the roughness pattern. So here there is a peak and there is a ridge. So the distance between the peak and the ridge will give the roughness spacing. Then so roughness average, so here they have mentioned about roughness average which we obtain when after calculating or after measuring with the help of the micrometers. So the next one is the waviness. So waviness is more widely spaced component of surface texture. So this is a most widely spaced component of the surface texture. Roughness may be considered to be superimposed on a wavy surface. So waviness is an error in form due to incorrect geometry of tool producing the surface. So waviness is caused because of the tools that are producing the surface. 
and if these tools have incorrect geometry then waviness is formed so we can define waviness as as an error in form due to incorrect geometry of the tool producing the surface the spacing of waviness is the width between successive wave peaks or valleys so here we can see the waviness spacing is defined as the width between successive waves wave peaks and valley so there is a peak here and there is a valley here so the width between these two peaks and values of the wave is called as the waviness spacing and waviness height is the distance from a peak to a value so here there is the peak and there is a valley here so this is the waviness height the other parameters which we have to learn is lay so it is the direction of the predominant surface pattern so ordinarily it is determined by the production process used for manufacturing the component so it is the direction of the predominant surface pattern so it is determined by production process used for manufacturing the component the next parameter is flaws so they are the irregularities that occur in isolation or infrequently because of specific causes like scratches cracks and blemishes so these are the irregularities that are infrequently observed on the surface uh, because of scratches cracks and blemishes on the surface of the component the next parameter is the surface texture it is generally understood as repetitive or random deviation from the nominal surface that form pattern of the surface so surface texture it will encompass or it will include roughness waviness lays and flaws the last parameter is errors of form so they are widely spaced repetitive irregularities occurring over the full length of the workpiece so common type of error of forms include bow snaking and lobbing so common type of errors of form so this is about the concept and terminology of surface texture measurement